Saturday, more than 20,000 people will give their time, their energy, and their money to support the work that Komen Dallas County is doing every single day, fighting breast cancer and caring for those who have been diagnosed. That's why Fox 4 has proudly once again joined the 2013 Race for the Cure. You can learn more by using the hashtag Dallas Race on Facebook and Twitter. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women worldwide, and the disease certainly does not care what stage of life you are in. Heather, thank you. And that's why I want to introduce you to Rachel Galarza. She is going to talk about dating and breast cancer. And Rachel, those are two terms that we really don't think of very often. Mm -hmm. You were 27 when you were diagnosed with breast cancer. You chose a double mastectomy. You had chemotherapy. And you said you had to mourn the woman that you used to be. Yeah, you have to mourn um, that innocence that you have before you realize that tomorrow isn't promised and that um, this is a stage in your life that you have to get through, but you can get through it. And then once you got through it and you, you felt that you were going to be able to survive, it may seem superficial to some people, but you do think about dating and you think about your social life. Did you think that those things were going to be over for you because you had breast cancer? Absolutely, and that's one of the things that you mourn is that you're able to go into a place and feel like, you know, normal person, and then once something like this happens to you, it's a completely different, you lose your confidence some, and, and you have to reestablish who you are, but um, one of the things that somebody told me when I was first diagnosed is that you're more than a pair of boobs. You said your mother said that to you. She did. She did. And that was one of the things, like, you know what? I am. And that helped turn you around. It did. You were single. How do you, how do you have that conversation with a guy when you're dating or you, or you first meet? I mean, how do, you, how do you bring breast cancer up? It's not something that you kind of just casually say. Um, it's kind of one of those things that after a date or two, if, if this person is really somebody that you value spending your time with, because time is one of the things I've learned, your most precious commodity. So you don't just share that with anybody. But um, if this person is, is worth spending that time with, then you will find that time and you'll tell them and, and if they like you they'll be able to overlook all those things. And that's good whether you've had breast cancer or not. It right? is, it is. Now you were dating a guy when you were going through chemotherapy mm -hmm. but he wasn't able to, to deal with that situation. Mm -hmm. how, how did you deal with his response? Um, it was a lot. I mean all, all things at the same time but then it also made me realize that like I said time is a very precious commodity so I'm not going to spend any time crying over the ones that are lost. I'm going to move on to the next one. You said it's about kissing a frog, right? Yeah, it actually <laughs> helped me realize that, um, or actually prevented me from kissing a lot of frogs that wouldn't turn into a prince. So. All right, girl. <laughs> that is a very powerful story, really inspirational. And you also said that you now are so grateful and you look definitely at your life differently. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the things that you take for granted, thinking that, hey, I'm going to get to be 30, but, or, or just assuming I'll get to be 30, so I need to prepare and make sure that I don't have any wrinkles and that I'm still fitting into these clothes. And really, I'm just very grateful to be 30. I'm grateful that I get to get up and go to work every day. I'm grateful that I get to spend time with my family, that I get to um, date, that I get the opportunity to live life again. And you have a man in your life now who understands. And, I, and you're not just breast cancer for him. I'm not. And that, that is one of the important things is that um, once you have breast cancer is not letting that overcome you and not letting that become your life. It's a part of your life, but it isn't your life. So what do you want to say to women who may be of any age who are single who have breast cancer who are thinking, how am I going to have this life? How am I going to ever date? Who's going to want me? Mm -hmm. I would just say that you only get to live life once, so live every day like tomorrow might not come. And know that your time is your most precious thing, and anybody who is worth your time will value you and everything that comes with you. And um, you just have to be comfortable with yourself, and you have to love yourself, and anybody that is meant to be in your life will love you too. Beautiful. You got a lot of support. We have a very special picture to show. Oh. It's your sister 
and your nephews and yeah. tell us what they did for you. Um, my sister actually, she was my support system when I was sick. Right there. She took care of me. Um, she was a hairdresser and when I found out I was going to have to have chemotherapy, I was very upset. So I just heard this buzzing noise and all of a sudden I went into the living room and my sister had her hair half shaved and she's like, don't be scared, this is how you're going to look, I did it first. And what's her name? Jennifer, Jennifer Seymour. Jennifer and her two sons, she yes. shaved their heads as well. Yes, of course when they saw it they had to have that cool do too. So. <laughs> Amazing solidarity. Well, you look fantastic. Thank you. You're doing great, and you will be at Komen on Saturday. I will be at Komen, Dallas County, Race for the Cure, um, to see the other survivors and to support this great cause and make sure that breast cancer doesn't affect anyone else's life. And you said in the beginning, the first time you went to Komen, you said, I don't want to be there. I don't want to deal with that, but you changed when you saw those women and that sea of pink. I really didn't want to go. I was depressed. I wanted to stay home. I had just gotten diagnosed, just had the mastectomy, and I actually only went because so many other people were going for me that I went and I just saw all these women and, you know, just kind of talking to them. Well, I've been a survivor for 25 years. I've been a survivor for 40. I was like, I can do this. I can do this. Absolutely. It gave me hope. Absolutely. And you are doing it. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Okay. Truly inspirational. We're all going to look forward to seeing Rachel on Saturday. Fox 4 is a proud media sponsor once again of the Coleman Dallas Race for the Cure. We're going to bring you live coverage of the race Saturday morning starting at 7. We want to see your face in the race.